uh, common difference arithmetic progression. So here for A, you see we have negative 35, negative 21, negative 7. So we see what is the difference between the second term and the first term. So the difference is equal to negative 21 minus negative 35. So you get negative 21 plus 35 which is equal to 14. So you see here, the negative 35 to negative 21 is plus 14. So the next step should be plus 14 as well which you can check. Negative 21 plus 14 you see here is equal to negative 7 which is this one. So the arithmetic progression can be found by adding by adding 14 uh, from the previous term. So you see because for the arithmetic progression so uh, the common difference is the same. So this is the third term right. So for the fourth term T4, T4 would be negative 7 plus 14 which is 7. T4 is equal to 7. And then for B we have 2 third 3, 5 third 3, 8 third 3. So we see here the common difference is the difference between the set, uh, between the term and the previous term. So the difference is 5 set 3 minus 2 set 3. So we have the same set we get 3 set 3. So we see the common difference is 3 set 3. So we should get 5 set 3 plus 3 set 3 is equal to 8 set 3. So this one plus 3 set 3 should be equal to 8 set 3. The difference is the same. So, to obtain the arithmetic progression, uh, we must add the previous term with 3 set 3. So, C, P plus Q, 2P, 3P minus Q and so on. So, the common difference is the same. So, you see here, the difference is the term minus previous term. So we have 2P minus P plus Q. Current term minus previous term. So we get 2P minus P minus Q or P minus Q. So this one is equal to P minus Q. To check, um, this one minus this one will also get p minus q so we can check here which is 3p minus q minus 2p is equal to p minus q so you see here the common difference is the same this is the common difference so we so the arithmetic progression can be obtained by adding p minus q to the previous term and then for d log a2 log a24 log a27 so you see here it must be plus and plus or minus d is plus or minus equally so we should check so this one log a24 can be found as 4 log a2 this one log a2 and this one is 7 log a2 so you see here the common difference is the current term minus previous term. So we have 4 log A2 minus log A2. So we get this is 1 log A2, 3 log A2. So 3 log A2. <coughs> and this one is also 3 log A2. So 3 log A2 is also equal as log a2 to the power of 3. So we can see, <coughs> we can find the, we can obtain by adding log A2 to the power of 3 to the term, to the previous term. <coughs>